<coughs> so, have we got uh, Somerset West in the house there? I see in the thing there's Andy in the in a little box on Zoom. Is that the man himself? <laughs> How's it going, guys? <laughs> Andy, good to see you, man. Good to see your face. <laughs> Uh, good, good. So I'm like trying to watch the show and be on be on the, the Zoom at the same time. It's way too confusing. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a ten fifteen second delay on it. So um, yeah. Are you all alone there? Are you locked down by yourself, man? How's it going with you? Yeah, well, we locked down. Um, it was obviously just some some Zoom tricks. Uh, I unfortunately, couldn't be at the studio, so I'm in my home office. <laughs> Um, lockdown, yeah, Cape Town's just the same. It's quiet and quiet and cold and, and a little bit slow and a little bit locked down, unfortunately. Uh, same as the rest of us. Um, so, but you're still managing to get a show out every week, I notice. And I do it, and I notice that it is gaining popularity. So you're working at it. Yeah, well, we, we decided, I mean, same as you guys that are, you know, the show must go on. Um, I must confess, though, uh, when you said I should join in and, and stop by on the, on the show, I think you asked on Monday, uh, Monday evening or something like that, and then only yesterday um, I saw that you guys were nominated as part of the the 420 icons of the of the year, and now I'm starting to, you know, I was like, oh shit, I'm a little bit more, more nervous now, you know, with the <laughs> so Well done, guys. The competition. <laughs> Um, uh, you guys, yeah, but, uh, and Tony as well. I saw that yesterday. My mind was blown. That was awesome, awesome. Hell of a thing. Eh? It's quite a. It's quite a list. We, we, um, there was one sidebar that we we noticed. John Veet in Barcelona said one of the people who were put on that list actually took his name off that list because there wasn't enough women on the list. He's the celeb, Mister. He's um, Stephen Bloom from Celeb Stoner. Uh, he's the editor at Celeb Stoner. So he actually this week put a list of 500, uh, in fact, I think it's 700 women that should be on a weed list. And Myrtle made it, 700 women in weed. So she's on the list of the women in weed. So it's just kind of it's just kind of another list, really. But it, it's very, very cool. We're very chuffed, and it's opened up tons and tons of um, conversations about it. 100%. It's nice just to see that South Africa's on the map, you know, it's, it's, it's been a while when we've been, you know, behind the rest of the, the playing field and, and, you know, it's nice to see that we're making headway and, and getting some names on the, on the board in some way. No, culturally, we just have something unique, eh? Like... And so, and um, Tony, of course, Tony Budden's on the list and quite rightly so. He's quite an ambassador wherever you go in the world, people know Tony Budden. I think you guys said there was a third one as well. Well, that's Myrtle and I. African. That's Myrtle and I. There's two, there's three, uh, three South Africans. Oh, a, a couple and a single. <laughs> have you had Have you had Tony on the show before, Andy? No, no, not. Uh, I think he was down in Cape Town. We had, we had the pleasure to meet, but not on the show as of yet. I think it'll be a cool idea, though. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, everyone's so so incredibly accessible on Zoom and nobody can say, sorry, bro, I'm busy. <laughs> and he's so easy to talk to as well. Yeah, I know, extreme pleasurable. He's an amazing human, yeah. No, we, no, we, we, we had, had his talk at the, one of the craft canvas sessions um, at Cape Town Town Hall. I think he gave a talk there and it was, it was also one of the, the ones that we sort of highlighted as like, you know, awesome content, and you kind of look and you say, like, oh, that guy knows his stuff. Yeah. So, um, is there any way, uh, Andy is still there, yeah, Andy, is there any way you can get to yeah, see yeah. all your friends? Are you actually visiting people? Are you going out and hanging out, or is anybody coming to you to, how do you do the show? Is it all kind of like this? Yeah, it's, it's all, um, <coughs> we're just doing it, uh, just like this, uh, just on Zoom. Um, we've had like one or two guests. So, I mean, the technical side, obviously, with people's internet and things, you know, we've got to factor those in. But yeah, so far we've been both staying, both staying at home. Uh, still managing to send out some 
some like essential products uh, as part of the, the store, like you know, things that are needed to grow food, um, which falls some, <laughs> quite closely to what you need to grow wheat. Um, yeah, well, wheat which is not the most difficult <laughs> in, the, in the circumstances of the lockdown, with supply chains and couriers are slow and all of that. So it's, it's uh, we, we're keeping busy, I suppose. It's weird shit doing a show on Zoom, isn't it? The energy level is totally different. Look at everybody on this screen in their little boxes, kind of waiting for a moment to get in on themselves. It's, it's the weirdest shit. We should be sat on the couch, howling with laughter and passing <laughs> round a bat. At what level do you think we'll be allowed to do that? Uh, isn't it... Isn't it considered news and broadcasting? I, th I thought you guys could maybe answer that. I mean, it, to some point, right? It's yeah. Essential news. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have to be accredited media for that? Is it? I think so. <laughs> oh, just put out a media pass, and you're okay. <laughs> and how the cops been in? Do you know? Uh, how have the cops been down there, Andy? Do you know anything about anybody, any any of your friends getting busted? What's it like currying shit around? Is there, is there generally a weed market? Because you can ask anybody up in Joburg, there's weed everywhere. There's weed going around. People are getting weed to each other. Somehow, it's going on. That's the thing. It's, it's not really stop much. Um, it, I mean, with... It is a weird dynamic. Uh, like our, we, we have an essential service certificate that says marijuana SA on it, which I, you know, I thought attracted quite a bit of attention to to all of our parcels that we had to send out. But I mean, <laughs> in terms of you know, docks and busts and things like that, I mean, I've been pulled over running errands about five or six times. You know, just going to the shops and maybe like going to check on the office and, and things like that. And, and, um, every time they've been super okay, just just be nice and just say you're on the way to the shops and it seems to be okay. Thankfully, no arrests that I've heard of or any of a friend. It would be the worst time ever to get arrested now. Absolutely. Yeah, because then all of us, because then if it, all the popular press is to be believed, then you know, like 60% of it is of us are carrying it around and we don't even know about it and then they arrest you and then they test you then they find out that you've got it passively and then they stick you in a camp <laughs> fuck oh, you get bust right now you do not want to get bust right now i had a phone call today from somebody that was getting bust and they were so scared i've never heard anybody so scared in my life and i don't think they would have been that scared before COVID. Uh, they added an element of panic and fear to the situation. I can't believe it. Oh, my word. I, I'm more worried, though, about driving around with um, wine and, and uh, beers than, than I am with, with butt. Because, I don't mean, it, it's slightly different. Because they've flat out banned wine, uh, well, alcohol, but they haven't sort of banned weed or uh, am I maybe mistaken on that because I, I would have thought you can still have it in your there isn't a specific act that bans alcohol right I mean bans uh, cannabis none of this has been written yeah, in I, Go no, what you're saying almost sounds innocent because that's not how the police did no, that's not the, ideal, the ideal situation is that you can have cannabis in a private space uh, but uh, that's uh, that's ideal. The, the cops don't see it like that. If they see weed, they want to arrest you. Yeah. Because they haven't been instructed. They haven't been instructed by government not to. And that's what we need to do: is get through the government and prove to them that these busts are not isolated incidents. That's the difficult thing about stop the cops and join the queue: is proving to the powers that be at the top that the the, the unfair arrests that we as cannabis community see every day they're not isolated. It's hard to gather all the info together because they want evidence for each thing. They want to know the police officers' names, and the people that get busted don't report the names. No. Uh, uh, in in hindsight, it's very difficult to go back and, and get the exact details. But in that moment of a bus, people think differently. No matter how prepared you are, your thoughts are going to be different than what you think it would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the thing, and, and as you said, Charles, with knowing your rights, I mean, like, you know, I've been on, on the receiving end of, of, you know, 
some question about policing and uh, you know knowing my you know, if I had known my rights a bit more you know it wasn't bad but that's one thing that I'll I'll always regret it uh, if if you're going to be in the cannabis game and if you're going to be in the scene and and whether you're doing you know you're selling equipment or if you're selling whatever uh, make sure you know at least your basic minimum mm -hmm. rights mm -hmm. and like. You've got to be a bit brave. The other yeah. day I had somebody that ran away and he didn't even need a story. And if you do that, you're acting like a guilty person. So you should know your rights, it'll give you some courage. Yeah, 100%. Uh, well, um, you all know where to know your rights now because your rights are known on version 12 of Know Your Rights. And that is embedded into the Fields of Green website, fieldsofgreenforall.org.za. You'll find it all there. Um, Andy, we need to send you a bunch more stuff down for your studio. And you remember a million years ago when we came to your studio, Myrtle said, Oh shit, man, we got a load of posters and stuff for you. Do you remember that conversation? Well, like really good stoners. That was like eight months ago. Like really good stoners, we were telling the truth, but time and space has <laughs> elongated. We have those posters, and I'm just looking at your crazy backdrop here on Zoom. It's worked out really well, man. It looks pretty good on zoom i think everybody should now yeah. put a every all the crew should make a backdrop or something or other to to match andy's efforts tonight it's pretty good huh <laughs> andy where can everybody find you online bro we've we got time on our hands and all say again <laughs> say again joe we've got the time on our hands mm. well you know Fuck, I can't believe it. Um, the, the day goes so quick with shit that needs doing. <laughs>